What is going on, Lunatic? So we got a little bit of the pump. It started the the movement on the chart. I told you guys, you know, there's got to be a cap on it. Uh, it came back down and it's consolidating in the range that I told you guys it would probably get into. But we got that little pump to start with that brought back a little interest. And in the meantime, IBC was approved. So we're going to dig into Luna Classic today, see what's going on. Hopefully, we'll see a continuation of the price pattern and we'll be consolidating for another big move. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. Remember, this is brought to you by Terraport. Um, if you are interested, go check out Terra Casino or Weeks if you want to do some, some crypto trading. KCEX if you are looking for a non-KYC affiliated brand. So let's get into it. All right, guys, just a note. In 24 hours, May the 24th, that is when the... Uh, sentencing or the the penalty fee phase of the trial with the sec and terraform lab starts judge jed rakoff is deciding on this so we'll see what happens there now mind you they are being influenced crypto is uh to approve the ethereum etf by the governments uh bitcoin already approved so i don't think we see a softening of the approach but we should at least recognize that there is something going on underlying um, uh, some of these issues there there's government involvement if you will so uh but first the Terra classic ibc proposal officially passes the only person the only the only people that voted no jesus is lord the only only uh people that voted no no with veto so again uh to continue if you are staking with jesus is lord you know what you should be doing i don't need to tell you that but um so Anyway, so that caused a, a nice big um, uh, buy signal, and uh, it played out. So we'll look at that in just one second. Also, there is a proposal right now for the creation of an unofficial Terra Classic website. Let me know what you think, and uh, go to Commonwealth, kind of check it out. The problem, um, uh, and this was, according to research done in quarter one, 2024, in coin market cap, there are only three blockchains that don't have websites or point to the wrong one, and Terra Classic is one of them. There are only 20 blockchains that don't have a white paper. Terra Classic is one of them. So there are essential problems for Terra Classic at this point that we need to solve that have not been solved that are very simple. So uh, if I want to find out what Luna Classic does, I have no white paper to go to. I have no website to go to. So far, we're still a ghost chain. Now, we could be thriving. We have IBC hooks, okay? so we can bridge with osmosis. We have uh, certain opportunities. We have dApps that are built in the system. We have a robust uh, uh, a meme system that is developing inherently underneath. But it's all a ghost chain until we get some solid foundation. In fact, I discussed this with somebody about two months ago, and there are, there's work being done. So here we are talking about this work. Now, um, these are the things establish an unofficial Terra Classic website inspired by the modern Bitcoin.org. The aim is to create a community driven educational resource that supports decentralized nature of Terra Classic without assuming any uh, uh, any legal liabilities typically associated with being an official entity. Uh, and so and, and by the way, all nodes, if they're the reporter, then that makes this easier because all nodes can then just report that that's going to be the, the updated website that we would use going forward. And then this could be done through a DAO vote. So I would encourage and urge everybody to really look this over, decide what's important. Um, and look, it, it, you know, I'll, I'll reach out to the people and, and just say, listen, you know, um, I'll do educational content for the, the Terra Luna Classic if it's needed. And we'll work on that uh, to get this website up and running and functional. And hopefully we can get something like that done. Very important that that happens. By the way, did I mention thriving uh, crypto, uh, did, I, did I mention a, a thriving meme coin community? Because uh, if you see up here, my um, my meme coins are now over a thousand dollars. So um, what am I saying here, guys? This is a thriving ecosystem. Remember, this was two hundred dollars. This was two hundred dollars two months ago when we started doing this, uh, and now it's over a thousand dollars. So uh, if you have not already, you might want to uh, start checking out some of these meme coins like Rackoff. Uh, go to Terra, by the way, uh, if you're if you're looking for it. And, and coinhall.org is where you go. Uh, just click over here on Terra Classic and just choose the Terra Classic chain. Boom. And now you're looking at only Terra Classic meme coins. And you can sort by market cap. Uh, you can sort by whatever it is that you need to, to sort by in order to get this done. But uh, look at Larry Lunk over here with the big $240,000 market cap. One of the big ones. And Frog over here, one of the big ones. So, you know, go check these out. I would encourage you 
to, to, to do that. Now let's check price action. Pepe just hit an all-time high, and to celebrate, Cryptonomy.Finance is giving away Pepe up to $1,000, a total of $100,000 prize pool. First, follow Cryptonomy underscore Fi on X. Initiate a deposit at Cryptonomy.Finance. Start staking or join the launch pool. And then like, uh, retweet this post. The deadline is going to be June 15. I just earned 0.1012 Bitcoin. That was $600. We locked it in. We got 0.037 Bitcoin. Uh, that is the equivalent of uh, $1,800, we made $2,400 in the last couple of months off of using the staking mechanism with Cryptonomy Binance. The big one is the launch pool. Uh, look at the returns that are coming through. We got 12X on Theta Knots, Lifeform, 4.8X, TARS Protocol, 13X. You guys are familiar with TARS X. I've talked about them before. So if you want to earn some Pepe, then make sure you sign up at cryptonomy.finance today. Make sure you follow uh, the X account. Uh, make sure that you like and retweet that. And then make sure you make a deposit and start staking either in the flexible, fixed, or launch pool today. So um, we got the buy signal. We got the strong buy signal. We got the big move over here. We just got the notification to exit the position. We're at at 11.5. Why? Because that's the vo that's the volume range. Of course, I've got it at 11.673, but we're splitting hairs. When we're that close to it. So, uh, but what did happen? We zoom in, and you can see right now uh, we just kind of came back underneath. Uh, we're back in this range right below. This does represent the resistance, even though we were able to mint outside of it. Uh, if you come over to the four hour, what you want to do is you want to get two full candles minting outside of that range. We got one candle that minted outside the range, and then we fell back in in the second candle. So uh, we didn't get a confirmation of a breakout, but we've got a strong wick down here at the bottom, which would indicate to me that there is some breakout potential and more upside uh, to be considered. So uh, that is right there right now. And by the way, the market uh, is a little bit wonky because everybody's focusing on Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum pumped up almost a 4,000 just an hour ago or so. So that reversal looks to be in if the market is getting ready to do what I think it's getting ready to do. Now, what we have to talk about the top. Where's the top for me in my mind right now? Uh, if we zoom out here just a little bit, then you can see like this range right here at 13. That seems to be the spot. Uh, I don't know how much further up we're going to go um, from some of these little ranges right here without a motivator. Now, when we get that motivator, then that changes everything dynamically because then we come out in this longer time frame and I'm looking still for this big robust move uh, into the twos coming and that's not going to take that long, right? Uh, it, the question right now is, and it can happen at any time. It, it can happen at any time. Uh, again, if you just kind of uh, look at, you know, how long did it take for this to happen? Uh, and then you kind of move it over here. You can see that it's probably around due for it to happen. Remember, beginning of June was the time that we talked about where um, the, the market should start getting a nice little rip. Now, mine, of course, is playing out over here through August, but I just wanted to show you that I wasn't actually doing it on a time basis. But uh, it does look like there is a big move getting scheduled here. Um, and by scheduled, of course, it just means, you know, things might be happening. But look, a website, that's going to that's going to move needles. Is it going to attract a million investors? No, but it's going to move the needle because people are going to be reinforced and understand, wait a minute, this chain is rebuilding. I'm an idiot if I'm not in on it. And then people will start investing. So, you know, that's going to be building for the future. Uh, now we come over here, we look at the uh, the volume down to 66 million, down 37%. Again, we're still not ready. It's not ready for that next level yet. And then, look, there's more robust chains out there right now that are, and, and by the way, Loon Classic is, is plenty fast. It settles quickly. It's inexpensive to use, but there are plenty of other uh, cryptos out there, uh, blockchains, if you will, that are in this space right now that are fully functional. You can go to the website, you can get a white paper, you can do all of the different normal things, and we're not. Uh, and then USTC uh, down to 15 million in volume. Again, you know, a, a lot of the market, by the way, dipping because a lot of the money is getting sucked out to go into Ethereum. So I would think nothing of it right now. As far as burns go, uh, 353 million. So burns are up just a little bit from voluntary burning. Uh, now, if you want to buy any of these tokens, if you want to get in on it, come to terraport.finance. This is where it all happens. Now, uh, what is it that happens? Well, yesterday I did a uh, uh, go touch grass nerds because I, you know, every day I go out and I, I go for a jog or I go for a walk and uh, I do it over. There's a big hill 
and I get on top of the big hill and I've been posting a few pictures of it, stuff like that. Food Token steps in. Uh, believes you did a nice video on our token with large aspirations, but did you know our concepts allow us to grow food with no water anywhere in the world? We teach it to our global farmers who will be growing food for their communities. And look, that's actually, a, a, this is an incredible opportunity a, around the world, right? So uh, I'm going to go back and we're going to zoom back around. We're going to talk about what is food token. So uh, food token uh, is here to bring self-sufficiency to the world. We are a permaculture experts here to grow food on earth. 100% transaction fees fund farmers. And what are the transaction fees? Well, <laughs> there's a white paper. So if you were interested in checking it out, you come over here to uh, foodtoken.tech and read the white paper, or you can just click right here uh, and start buying. If you click on these, it'll take you to uh, the, the website. And, and by the way, don't forget that it's mixed in here with Cookie Monster Token. Cookie uh, is one of the tokens, by the way, uh, if you go to Coin Hall. Uh, dot org. Uh, cookie is one of the tokens. And I'm going to be doing some giveaways for some cookie tokens uh, very soon. But um, uh, here's the 1% of all transactions contribute to the funding of permaculture farms globally through Terra Farming. If you care about uh, this kind of stuff, this is going to be interesting, something for you. Um, the integration of food token into the Terra Farming game facilitates in-game transactions and economists. Uh, so it, it, there's a game coming. Uh, uh, and by the way, how how, did, didn't people go crazy for Farmville at one point? Uh, if this game is is fun and playable like that, then there's a very big possibility that it becomes a revenue generator unto itself. Uh, this gives you an explanation of what permaculture is, uh, the benefits, uh, how, how this thing could possibly work out uh, to its best advantage. And all you have to do is go check it out, make a small investment into it uh, to, to prove that you are uh, you know part of the, the, the team, if you will. And... You know, let them do the work. Let them cook, if you will. They're the ones with the food. Uh, anyway, uh, if you're interested in that, then come over to Terraport. Uh, click down here. Uh, food token is on the list right here. You can go check that out right now. Um, damn, I don't hold any food. Well, I got cookie. I got I got cookie token. Um, anyway, uh, so we'll get some food tokens today, and uh, we'll be investors too. Anyway. Um, that's my time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you that you take the time to come check me out. Uh, it's not following deaf ears. So thank you so much uh, for your support. And uh, let's keep this going. Let's let's get this website going. Uh, let's let's vote us responsibly. Let's make all this stuff happen. Let's undelegate from Jesus is Lord, the bad actor in this space. Let's delegate to responsible validators. Uh, and let's do, not do that by emotion because the word Jesus is in it. Uh, you can believe in Jesus, but he's not a validator. It's not financial advice. I'm always right.